hello there and welcome to today's class for this class we're looking at the concept of load all right let's discuss the concept behind load the definition the types and the classes of load and also um how to um, abbreviate load in some concepts all right let's dive into the concept of load all right let's start with the definition of load what is load by definition a load is simply a force that acts on a structural member or a body if you want to so i'm saying that a load is simply a force right it's an applied force on a structural member or on an object or on a body so when a when a force or a weight or anything is applied on that thing let that thing that is applied is called said to be load so if I, if I have if i have this phone here and i put this um marker on it this marker becomes a load to this phone so that's the concept behind load so a load is simply a force that acts on a structural member or on a body if you want to all right i'm going to discuss the definition of load let's discuss something important called type of load let's discuss something important called types of load when it comes to load what are the various classes of a types of load when it comes to load look i'm gonna classify um in four ways number one there number one there is called point load point load or you call it concentrated all right number two there number one we have the point load or concentrated load that's the first type, type of load that we have number two there is that we have what we call the uniformly distributed load load number three when it comes to type of load the second type of load that we have is called uniformly distributed load also known as u d l so when you hear the word u d l we mean what uniformly distributed load the second type of load that we have the third type of load that we have is called uniformly varying load so abbreviated abbreviated as uvl so when any word uvl we mean what uniformly varying load so when it comes to um type of load we have point load also called concentrated load number two there we have uniformly distributed load called udl if you want to number three they will have uniformly varying load that's UD, uvl and finally number four there we have what we called all right all right all right all right all right all right before number four and five um these are the three major the three main um fundamental type of road type of load that we have point load uvl udl and uvl so aside this i'll show you two more that exist but these are the, but not that these are the three major ones so aside this three major one we have we called the concentrated concentrated um couple load so we have the constant couple load um load if you want to and finally we have the distributed couple load all right these are the um the five um types of load that we have we said one to um three are the major one i just show you these two to show you that they exist so we have constructed a couple load and we have distributed couple load let us call this load one after the other 
let's have the first one there called point load all right about one there point load by definition a point load is also called concentrated load this is a type of load that acts at a point on a structural member so whenever a, a load acts at a point is said to be what a point load load at a point point load that's the concept so when a when a when, when, when a when a load acts at a particular point on a structural member or on a body it's said to be what the point load so the diagrammatic expression for a point load um is shown below if i have a beam in this way and i have a support here yeah? and i have a support system here yeah? so when it comes to point load we said a load that what acts at a point so this is called p so not that p not that load is abbreviated by the symbol p all right so p is represents load all right um so this this this, this when you see something of this nature this refers to what point load load at the point so in kilo newton please in kilo newton all right here becomes the the the, the, um, the expression for point load let's do the second one they're called uniformly Let us call the second one the called uniformly distributed load. By definition, uniformly distributed load is a type of load that acts through a structural, through a distance or a length on a structural member. So uh, when it comes to this uniformly distributed load, it's simply a load that is that is spread through a uh, distance on a structural member. So that's like the concept behind um uniformly distributed load all right the diagrammatic expression for this man here becomes um something of this nature a support here and a support here so when it comes to udl um yes udl also called uniformly distributed load the co the, 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 the the diagram is expressed in two cases i'll give you the case one and the case two for the case one there, I have something of this nature. If I'm seeing this load, this is called uniformly distributed load. So this is one way of representing this, this type of load. The other diagrammatic expression, sorry, this case one. For the case two, I'll have a support system at this edge here yeah? and at this edge here. Yeah? So when a beam is uh sorry, a load is a deep form, it's said to be called it's called uniformly distributed load. Not that the load is, is said to be P, as we said earlier. This load here yeah, is called P, but what in kilonewton per meter. This one here is called um, load. That's P in kilonewton per meter. All right. This is the concept behind the second type of load. Let us call the third type of load called uniformly varying load. All right. Um, about three. Let's discuss uniformly varying load. Uniformly varying load is a kind of load in form of triangle that acts on a structural member. So um, when I'm seeing a triangular load, um, now look, look up. When it comes to uniformly varying load, I'll be showing you one diagrammatic expression. But aside that one, there's other one there. We are doing that as I'll be giving you a diagrammatic expression. For uniform varying load, just one. But note that aside from that one, 
other load, other diagram expression for uniform very load exist. So I'll be giving you the one of triangular load. So aside that triangular type of load of UVL, we have um trapezoidal load, we have um what's it called? Um triangular load, trapezoidal load, and parabolic um load if you want to. So aside that aside triangular load I'll be giving you now, there are other two more or three more. So let me just give you diagrammatic expression for triangular load here. Yeah? So I have a support system here. Yeah? A support system here. Yeah? Alright. So I have something of this nature. So this one here yeah, is a type of load. It's, it's a form of what? Uniformly varying load. <laughs> so the concept is that if I'm seeing this type of load, the idea is simple. I'm talking about what the uniformly varying load. That's the concept, UVL. So these are the concept behind the three major type of load and their diagrammatic expression, as you can see. So of course, this is a, a load P measured in kilonewton per meter. All right. Um, we said these two here are not that important, but they exist. So let me show you the diagram for um couple uh sorry concert couple load and uh, distributed couple load for number four there if the government expression for number four is something of this nature this whenever i see something of this nature i'm telling this this are uh, just um to show that they exist that's why i put these two so the government expression for number four there this one here is this one number five here Become something of this nature number five. So these are the concept behind these two type of load. All right, let's cause um other concept called classification of load, and we head to this class. All right, when it comes to classifying load, there are two distinct way of classifying load. Number one, there we have uh, what they called the live load or perhaps let's start with dead load we have the dead load dead load and number two that we have the live load these are the two main type of load sorry classification of load that we have dead load and what and live load all right let's call this concept one after the other for dead load Let us cause the concept behind dead load. By definition, a dead load is a permanent load that is applied to a structure. So when I um, um when it comes to structure, any load are permanent are said to be what dead load. So um the, the concept is now that load. What are the examples of um dead load? Number one, there is beam. Beam is a load, true or false, is very heavy, is a, is a kind of um, a heavier load, but what the a permanent load. If you remove a beam in a structure, it will affect the structure. So that load is called a permanent load, it will, it will be there. So such kind of load is called what the a dead load. So other example of dead load includes um the weight of the structure itself. So like uh, the wall, the floor, the roof beam colon so this is an example of dead load also know, so know that dead load are called self-weight load all right know that dead load are called self-weight load so i'm giving an example of dead load let's dive into the second one they're called live load number two let's discuss live load and hence this concept What's life load by definition? A life load is also called imposed load. So you only want imposed load. That's like the future for life load. Imposed load is also used to represent life load. Either you hear the word imposed load or you hear the word life load. So I'm saying that imposed load or life load. Sorry, I'm saying that life load is also called imposed load. 
this is the type of load that is temporary on streaming bar. So death load are permanent, while life load are temporary. Example of life load includes people such as occupants, pedestrians. We have other ones like uh, furnitures um, and movable equipment. Those are like example of life load. We have vehicle. We have snow or rain load. So uh, in some regions, right? So that this are the example of life loads and the concept behind dead load. In the next class, we'll be discussing about the computation of reaction and moment. So for that concept, you'll be learning how to find the reaction uh, using the equation of static equilibrium to find um, reaction, right? So let's say I have something of this nature, a P support and a ruler support. And I have a uniform state load as this here. And I still have a point load. Let me call this one 6 kN per meter. Let me call this one here 2 kN. And I have from here to here is 5 meter. And from here to here, um, let's say it's 2 meter. Down here is 4 meter. You want to assumption, please. B, A. So find the reaction of, of, this, of the support system. So look at this one here, much more later in our next class. So see you in our next class. If our class helpful, do it to like, hit the discussion button, share it to your friend and classmates so that they can learn too. See you in our next class once again. Bye.